So Eli's story, when he was born, he was born with a very rare disorder. And um, they lost his newborn screening. And his disorder should have been detected in his newborn screening. Within three to five days, they get that back, usually before they even leave the hospital. But I didn't know about it. First time mom when I was in my early to our late twenties. And, uh, I went to the, went home, came back, went to the hospital, came back, went to the hospital. They kept sending me back and forth from different hospitals and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. By the fourth hospital, they finally listened to me and he died. Um, they brought him back. This was at 14 days old. And, uh, after he coded, he had a lot of brain damage, swelling. And, um, he told me he may never walk or talk. Uh, he He's almost 11. And when they gave me his diagnosis of classic lactosemia, which is super rare, but with his condition, no doctors can figure Eli out. We've been to OT, PT, speech, doc doctors around, around different states, uh, from Arkansas all the way back to Michigan. And they keep sending me over and over and over to different neurologists and different specialists and the last couple EEGs for week-long stays and nobody has been able to figure my son out. He um, goes through about 50 diapers. He did go through about 50 diapers a week, daytime. Um, seizures, he had a mini stroke last year. His fine motor skills, they're just not there. His last doctor's appointment last year for his specialty doctors told me he probably would never progress past the age of four and that I should probably prepare for that. And I said, okay, we've tried everything else. Is there anything we can do? And so we did one more study and the last doctor told me, you need to get a second opinion. And I said, you need to read your paperwork. You're my fourth. I'm, I'm just, we've been through so many different things and I'm, I'm, I'm really over it. So we started looking at holistic um, and he was on heavy seizure meds. We've tried several different things. And then we started a holistic seizure meds and nothing, nothing was changing. He was still having some vocal seizures, turning white, taking naps. He just could not focus most days. He would forget his name. He couldn't dress himself. He couldn't shower himself. The list goes on. It's pretty extensive, pretty hands-on with that boy uh, from the time he gets up from the time he goes to bed. He knows no stranger danger. He doesn't know how to remember to shut lights off. He can't cook for himself. So many things until we started the patches. And he has been on the patches, just X39 and Eon for, this is going into his 18th week as well. <laughs> the first five days, he went from 50 diapers daytime to three to five. And as the weeks progressed, I just want to give you a whole rundown but it's really long. I'm just going to go short and sweet here because it. he is one to, one to three diapers during the day all week long. He is getting up to go potty in the middle of the night. He's seizure-free, med-free, holistic med-free. OT, PT, and speech have stopped. We don't do those anymore. He is coming to me, writing his letters, numbers, sit, um, telling me his colors, writing sentences by... Um, things that he looks at and sees, and he can write them word for word. It takes him a minute, but he comes and shows me. Um, he's getting dressed himself. He's showering himself. He's remembering his routine. He's setting the table. He's pouring his sister's drink, which if you know anything with fine motor skills, you can't do that. He just spills it everywhere. That, that's a nightmare trying to train him to do that, and he'd get frustrated. I'd get frustrated. And yesterday at his soccer game, we it's it's got to be a quarter mile from the soccer field to the bathroom and yeah i'm like you know what i'm gonna test it i'm gonna let him do this and by the way he knows no stranger danger and he gets sidetracked and he gets lost like within the matter of 10 steps or less he walked all the way there went to the bathroom cleaned himself up came all the way back started playing the game i didn't even realize he was behind me and went right back into the game like nothing had ever happened i didn't have to go with them and i'm like Oh my gosh, like every week he is improving with so many strides and I'm, I'm excited to get in the, the special needs community to change people's lives because this has just blown me away from day one, day one, I just noticed that clarity with how he was responding, how he was looking at me, how he was 
even going to the bathroom. I'm like, no, nope, I think this is a fluke. I didn't want to share. It. And then I took within five days, I'm like, I still don't know if I want to share this. I don't want to wake up from this. And so every week he is improving and I'm excited. The last doctor's appointment, we switched, we didn't switch doctors on purpose, but his doctor retired before I got to see him. And she went over the list and she's like, looking at what I'm saying and looking at Eli, she's like, I wish your doctor was here. Dr. Conway would want to see this because what I'm seeing on paper and what you're telling me, what I'm seeing in person is a completely different kid. And I said, I know, and this is what we're doing. If you're wise, you would look into this because this technology has changed everything for us. The, I do have a question. Does Eli um, feel things are changing in his body? Can he, is he? Yes. Yes, and he'll express it. He will come and tell me. He, uh, we are going for a mile walk, which... For a normal four or five year old, you're like, oh, you got to go potty, just go in the bushes. I didn't even think of that. And he's like, mom, I feel like I got to pee. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is this is something that I didn't even think was coming. And so we would, I taught him how to do that. And he's like, we can do this anytime. I was like, no, 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 not that. You just have to ask me first. So he he asks for the patches every day. He remembers to take the patches. And not only that, we're going places, and he's patching people. We went to family reunions. We went to a, a wedding and people are coming up to me and saying, what have you done to Eli? What are you doing with for him? What are these patches he's talking about? We need those everywhere we go. He, even today, he patched himself like way up here because usually I put him under his belly button because he's a sweaty kid and he sweats them off. So I usually have him under his belly button, but sports, he didn't do sports today. And so I said, put it on the back of your neck. He's like, I want to put it right here so I can have people see it to ask me so I can tell him my story. 